Hi everybody. So in this lesson we're going to look at the trapezoidal rule. Now what the trapezoidal rule does is it gives us an estimate for the area under the curve. Now we already did in a previous lesson, we did the integral. We said the integral, which is this from a to b of y dx, gives you the exact area. And we agreed that that was pretty incredible, that the integral from here to here gives me an exact area underneath the curve. Right, and when we did this, we actually got an answer of 26. Let's just keep that in mind for when, when we do the trapezoidal rule. Because we're not going to get 26, but hopefully we'll get close to it. Now, what it does is, it splits, we can split this up into a number of different trapezoids. Now, what is a trapezoid? Well, it's this, it's this shape that you probably remember, which has a pair of parallel sides. Now there's some debate as to whether it has exactly one pair of parallel sides or at least one pair of parallel sides, but um, it doesn't really matter in our situation. And this is the this is the height of the trapezoid. So what we do is imagine we split this into two different trapezoids. We did one Two. And we've got the area of this, and we've got the area of this, and we add it. So that would give me an approximation of the area under the curve. It wouldn't be a very good one, because obviously I've added on this extra bit of area here that I didn't want. But what if I, that's just two trapezoids. What if I did, well, let's say what if I did six trapezoids? One, two, three, four, five, six, and join these. Well, now you're starting to see this is a much better approximation of the area under the curve. Now, if I did 100 trap trapezoids, that would be a really, really good um, approximation of the area under the curve. So what we're going to do is, well, let's do this example, and we'll see how close to 26 we actually get. Now, the way this formula works is, well, one, you're given it in the formula booklet, section 5.8. And what it does is the area the area of a tra trapezoid, a trapezium, I think I grew up calling these things, um, the area is a half of x plus y, because it, it gets the average length of those two, the, t the two parallel sides, and then times it by h. So what this formula does is it gets, well, it basically sums up all those different trapezoids, and it's pretty, it'll be pretty easy for you to do. I'm not going to derive it myself, but you could even do it. You're, you could do it if you wanted. Just, you just kind of get all the trapezoid lengths and, and find, get the height, and then rearrange it, and you'll get it into this form. It's, it's not that difficult. But the h, the height, is, well, the height, because it's, it's between the, the distance between the parallel sides, our height is actually going to be going this way. So, if I did two trapezoids, my height would actually be three. It would be this height here. So the way we get the height, the h, is we first see how many trapezoids does he want. So this question says, use the trapezoidal rule and four even intervals to find an approximation for the area under the curve in the interval two to eight. So h is b minus a over n. Now b and a are the limits. So we're going from two to eight. This is 2, this is 8. So from 2 to 8, the from 2 to 8, this would be 8 minus 2 over n, which is 4, because he wants four, 4 even intervals or 4 trapezoids. 6 over 4, which is 1.5. So the, the height of our trapezoids, which is actually going to be our length here, is 1.5. So I'm going to go 1.5 there. 1.5 is there, 1.5 is there, and you can see why why it's 1.5 because that's a that is four evenly spaced trapezoids. Now it's worth thinking because I said the integral is 26, so the area is exactly 26. But when I when I do this trapezoidal rule, am I going to get more than 26 or less than 26? Well, I'm actually going to get more than 26 because each of these has a tiny, look, it has a tiny little bit more there that we're going to be adding 
that isn't actually below the curve. So I'm going to get 20, probably 26 points something. I don't think I'm going to get 27 because it's, it's not that big. Um, there's not that big a gap. Okay, so I have h. Great. Now, I'm going to say the integral from 2 to 8 of y dx is approximately equal to, I'm going to write out this, this formula. It's a half h y0 plus yn plus 2 times y1 plus y2 plus dot, dot, dot. Let's just leave it like that. Okay, so I have... Right, I have x0, I have x1, this is actually x2, this is x3, and this is x4. But he wants y0, y1, y2, y3, and y4, because, um, as I said, it's to do with this rule here, he wants this length, and 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 we're going to well, do do this thing. And you'll see, actually, that's why he only adds y0 and y n once, because it will be this goes for this trapezoid. But y1 and y2, the middle ones, he adds twice, because this, like, x1 will go with this trapezoid and this trapezoid. That's why there's two of them. Anyway, I'm not going to get into too much detail about the formula. As I say, it's it's fairly straightforward. Now, what I want to do is get... Okay, I have x and I have y. So I'm actually going to make a little table here. I'm going to make a little table. So when x is, this is 2, what is y? Then when x is 3.5, what is y? Then when x is 5, what is y? 6.5 and then 8. This is my x0, x1, x2, x3 x4. So this will be my y0, y1, y2, y3, y4. Okay, so when when I have x, how do I find y? Well, I just sub it into, I sub it into the the function or whatever the, the formula is here. So I have y is a third x squared minus 3x plus 10. Now you could, no problem, sub it into each one of them and, and get your answer. I wanted to show you a little trick for, um, I just want to show you a little trick um, to, to do this pretty quickly. So we, we have two, I've opened up a spreadsheet here. So I have two, three, point five, five, six point five, and eight. Now, what I want is a third x squared minus three x plus 10. So I'm going to do a third and then instead of doing x squared, I'm going to click this. Hang on, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to do, let me put that, let me do that again. I'm going to do a third, and then I, I'm going to do times. I forgot the times, which is important. I'm going to do a third times, and now instead of clicking, um, instead of writing in 2 squared or, or whatever, I'm actually going to, the way you would in Excel, click this, and it gives me A1. So look at that. So that's going to give me a A1 squared. Now, if this freaks you out or if you really don't like the look of this, no problem. Just sub in each one. It's It'll take you maybe two minutes extra. But this is to kind of save you time if you, if you like this kind of thing. So that's going to be a third x squared, or third A1 squared, minus three times A1 again, and then plus 10. Press Enter. Um, sorry, I feel like an idiot here, right? I, I should have pressed equals. Yeah, so in Excel, you would press equals that. So press enter, and now I get 16 over 3. Now what I can do is, in the corner here, pull this down. So again, like if, you, if you're good with Excel, you, you, you'll be happy with this. So when you, so when you pull it down like this, you get... It fills in all those answers for you, so I've done them quite quickly, rather than um, rather than subbing it in each time. Again, if you don't like this, no problem, just uh, just sub them in individually, and it, that's that's fine. So I I have sixteen over three, sixteen over three, 
10 over 3, 10 over 3, 4.58333, 4.58333, and 22 over 3, 22 over 3. Okay, so the, these are my, this is my y0, this is my y4, and these are the ones in between. So the area, so the area, is approximately equal to a half times h. What is h? 1.5 times big bracket. And I do 16 over 3 plus, let me write that properly actually. I do 16 over 3 plus, so y0, the first y plus the last one, plus 22 over 3. Close bracket, plus 2 times, and then these ones, 3.58333 plus 10 over 3 plus 4.58333. Close this bracket and close this bigger bracket there. So this is going to give me, th this is my trapezoidal rule and it's going to give me the area under the curve. It'll give me, I'm certain unless I've made a total mess of this it is going to give me an answer that's 16 point something or, no sorry 26 point something so let's write it in exactly how I see it so it's uh, 1 1 over 2 times 1.5 2 brackets now I have Let's just do 16 over 3 like this. 16 over 3 plus 22 over 3. Close that bracket. Plus 2 times 3.58333. Plus 10 over 3. Plus 4.58333. Close this bracket. Close that bracket. Press enter. 26.75. Perfect. That's what I was expecting. 26.75. So when it says use the trapezoidal rule for even intervals, one, two, three, four, to find an approximation for the area under the curve in the interval two, two to eight, that is my approximation of the area. Okay, so a few things. Uh, what, what do you think of this question? Well, if I was a student, I would I would actually think right that see that looks really that looks really annoying and really difficult and there's lots of annoying things going on with the calculator but it's not actually that difficult to question if you can just if you can decide what exactly your your x's and your y's are because you have this formula and and the places you're going to go wrong is just putting the pressing the wrong button on the calculator um I actually think it's a nice question, and when you see it, you should think, okay, good, I know how to do that question. Now, the only way you'll know how to do it is obviously if you've practiced quite a number of these beforehand or throughout the throughout the year, the, the year or the two years or whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, you have a formula. You find H depending on what the question says. Then you get your X's. Find your Y's. If you want to do it the fancy way that I did it, fine, but... If, if you're in the pressure of an exam and you really don't you're really not comfortable with that don't even bother just sub in, sub 2 into this then sub 3.5 into this then sub 5 into this then sub, sub 6.5 into this and then 8 into this and you'll get these these same values okay hopefully that made sense uh, I'll talk to you in the next lesson